Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media, and in this screencast I'm going to be doing a comparison of the newest versions of the top three browsers which are all in beta stage. Internet Explorer 9, Firefox 4, and Google Chrome 7. So first I'm going to be doing a quick speed test as far as which one opens the fastest. So we're just going to open them one at a time and count the amount of seconds. So let's start with Internet Explorer 9. I'm going to double click it and start. There we go, so that's it for the time there. That's pretty dang fast. Let's go on to Firefox 4. Mm, a little slow, it's lagging there. So let's try next one. Google Chrome 7. And that was pretty fast too. So I think Google Chrome 7 is the fastest. I'll count the seconds right here at the bottom of the screen. Internet Explorer uh, 9 seems to come up in second place and Firefox 4 third place. Now I'm going to do a memory usage test. As far as which browser uses the least amount of kilobytes of memory in Task Manager when opened all on the same website with one tab. So let's start out with Internet Explorer 9. So we're on yahoo.com with one tab. We're going to go ahead and open up Task Manager. Scroll down, and here is Internet Explorer right here with 45,000 kilobytes, and also another process right here with about 5,000. So 50,000 kilobytes for Internet Explorer. Now let's check out Firefox 4. Again, we are on Yahoo. We're going to open up Task Manager. We're going to scroll down, and here is Firefox. 56, so that's a little more than IE. So let's go ahead and try Google Chrome now. Chrome 7, open up Task Manager, I'm gonna scroll down, and we got 32,023, uh, 8, 8, and 5. So that's about 76,000 kilobytes. But now you're probably thinking, why is Google Chrome using so many and have different uh, multiple processes in Task Manager? Well, Google Chrome uses a different process for each tab open, each extension and plugin and the overall browser. This also helps Google Chrome uh, to prevent from crashing by using a separate process for each tab and extension and everything that's open. Next, I'm going to be doing a simple performance test on all three of the browsers side by side by displaying an animation of fish and see which one can display the most frames per second without lagging. It's called the Microsoft Fish Tank Test, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and set 10 fish on each browser. Right now we're at 20. Set 10 and 10. Now let's go ahead and put them side by side. And you can see Internet Explorer 9 is easily in the lead with 30, 31 frames per second, and the fish are moving without a problem. Uh, Chrome would be second here with 20, 20 frames per second about, off and on. Um, and Firefox is way in the back here at third place with only 3 frames per second. So a new thing on all three of these browsers is hardware acceleration, which allows the browsers to offload intensive tasks like image scaling and displaying uh, animations like I'm doing right now to your PC's graphics card. So it has the benefit of freeing up the PC's main processor. So instead of relying all on the processor, it uh, distribu distributes it out to your multiple cores and graphics card, which speed up the page loading time. So, so that wraps up my versus test of these top three new browsers, Internet Explorer 9, Firefox 4, and Google Chrome 7. Overall, Internet Explorer 9 definitely came in first place, winning two out of three categories. Now when these browsers officially launch, leave me a comment below telling me which browser do you think will be your new favorite browser. The download links to try and download any of these beta browsers will be below in the video description, below the video, and all other links also. So that's it, and thank you for watching.